Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about the criticism um, that some people have towards authors or just people in the entertainment field in general uh, pricing their products too high. You know, in my estimation, with some exceptions, um, I don't think that art or entertainment in general, I will, uh, with some exceptions in a minute, I don't think those things um, are priced too high in general. Um, you know, a lot of people, when they say that, that, that something is priced too high, in many cases, what they, because I, I don't like, you know, when, when some people say, oh, well, that's a luxury uh, product or item, I, I talking about art, I can't spend money on that, but then usually you'll see that these people spend money in a lot of other areas, a lot of other so-called luxury areas, and yet... But, but the reason why they, they're they calling some things luxuries and other things not is simply because they value one thing more, and therefore they'll spend money on that. But if they value something less, um, then they'll call it a luxury item. But in many cases, you no, know, if you truly liked you know that thing, then you would spend money on it, but you don't really value it that deeply. So you're going to spend money on something, on something that you like more. And so in, in many cases, um, it, it tends to be that. Um, it's kind of like the person who uh, won't pay for um, a book or, or, or something in that regard, but then they'll go out and spend, you know, $100, you know, on a meal. And uh, they'll, they'll, now they'll, they might say, oh, well, that's food, but it, it's still the same thing. You don't have to live. You don't have to go out and spend $100 on a meal at a fine dining restaurant. Um, um, that's going beyond just living. And um, so... Um, or they'll go spend money on expen on expensive clothes or you know shoes or something else, but then they won't spend money on you know on you know and it goes far beyond again just just you know keeping yourself warm you know they're they're also concerned about the aesthetic, and um, so yeah when people say oh that's a luxury I mean so because I I don't really like it when a lot of people say oh well I can't afford this but in many cases it's not that they can't afford it. So there's a difference between I don't want to pay for something and I can't afford to pay for something. Like with me, with, with as little money as I make as a writer, in many cases I legitimately can't afford things. Um, it's not because I wouldn't want to pay for some. In many cases I would, but uh, but um, I, I, I legitimately can't afford it. Um, and so, but in many cases, for example, some people like to say that that movie theater tickets are 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 too high and you know of course it depends on where you live but of course where i live movie theater tickets are like ten dollars a piece and if you go during the day which i often do they can be as, as little as eight dollars i don't think that, that that's really expensive uh, to see uh, to see a movie in fact if you were to um list um like all the kinds of entertainment things that you could get a ticket for um movies would be probably uh, the cheapest um, I, I mean, uh, for example, uh, in order to see a Broadway show, um, that can cost hundreds of dollars. Um, or to see a stage play or a concert or sporting events, that those often cost hundreds of dollars. And um, it, it's got to the point where I think entire classes of people have been priced out. And so, yeah, I understand why people say that such things like stage plays, concerts, sporting events, I understand perfectly why people say that those are too expensive because if you've priced out an entire class of people, then yeah, they're expensive. Um, but the idea uh, uh, that, that paying 10 or $20 for something that that's expensive, most people can afford that. They just don't want to pay. Um, and uh, so, for example, so movie tickets in many ways are the are the cheapest kind of entertainment in terms of in terms of like a theater kinds of entertainment that you can have. Um, but then you know people will and some people say, oh, well, I can just stream something at home. Well, you know, to me, you know, there's actually a, a, a quote on Seinfeld I think said by Kramer that I think is a good comeback to this. It's like, well, why watch something? Why watch something? Um, at a theater where I can watch it at home, it's like, well, why go to a restaurant when you can just stick something in the microwave? You know, it's just, it's the same kind of thing. And, uh, and that's also another reason why authors will price their books, you know, for example, at $10, $15 for, for, um, uh, or for paper, for hardbacks, you know, 20 something dollars or in the $30 something dollars. It's, is because for for one that's how we make money because we can't we, we can't price things really low because you know we hardly get a royalty from it and, and especially since independent authors usually don't sell sell a lot anyway um, 
uh, we need, you know, as a high, as high a royalty as we can achieve without, of course, being unrealistic. And, um, and also, when, 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 so that's why, for example, I don't have my uh, books available on uh, Kindle Unlimited because, uh, for, for one, I just think that people value things less if they can just go through and pay for something. Um, if they can just pay for one, for one service and then just read whatever they want, I think that people tend to value things less that way because it becomes just content, another thing that they're consuming. They don't have any um, emotion involved. There's no emotion attached to it. And, um, and, and I also think that the concept of reading a, a physical book is that it does have, I think, if you're reading a physical book, um, a, a, a bit of... Um, a bit of class to it, a bit of it that, that if you are, if you have a physical book in your hand and you have, and, and there is a connection between, you know, the, the words that you're reading on the page and, and the imagery that you are creating in your mind, um, that is a very profound experience. And I think that it, it, it's worth um, the price, that, that it, it goes above and beyond uh, just, uh, you know, simple content that you would consume on your phone. Um, it's an art form, but people a lot of times don't want to make the distinction between um, content and art because they're not the same thing. Now, a lot of art can be treated like content, um, but th but there is a distinction between the two. So, um, no, I don't think that art in, in many cases is, is all that expensive, unless you're, again, unless you're talking about, um, you know, these um, uh, stage plays or live performance shows, which I do believe are too expensive. Um but when it comes to either book, when it comes to specifically books and movies, um, and music, uh, I don't think that they are too expensive. In many cases, I just think people don't want to pay for it because they really weren't all that interested in it to begin with.